Hi and welcome, my name is Katrina and this is our Vampire the Masquerade stream, The Interludes. Scenes that take place between the end of Season 2 and the start of Season 3. And tonight's episode, uh, I have the great pleasure of having all my three players here and accounted for. And before we start, uh, I would like them, as per usual, to introduce themselves as well as their character. Uh, hi, I'm Marianne. I play Siobhan Price, a uh, 10th generation Toyota Primogen. Yep. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Yes, me! You did it! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> hi, I'm Ty. I'm playing Christopher Martos, a 10th generation Mantru and the Prince of the City. Hello, my name is Urian, and I'm playing the role of Sean, 9th generation Gangrel Primogen. And for some, Mr. Sean. For a very, very, <laughs> very, very few, maybe only one person but, are allowed but, to call maybe, him Mr. Maybe Shiv is uh, starting to, to like it as well. <laughs> That's Sir to Sean to you, that Shiv. a good ring to it. Mr. Sean. <laughs> I'll say that ten times fast. Gangrel on a Vespa, say Mr. That Sean. <laughs> <laughs> now he's gotten rid of the Vespa, now he's driving a Morgan. Oh, all right, all right. Oh, didn't he sell the Morgan? I had two. Okay. At oh. Least. Uh, yep. It's not my job to to keep count of Sean's cars or vehicles. No, it and he, is. In my mind, will always be the Gangrel on a Vespa. I'm going to give you a list. Yep. Gangrel on a Vespa. Mm -hmm. It's a now it's now canon in my world. <laughs> all Gangrels drive Vespa. All. All, all only. Bruhas drive Volvo. Yes, it's it's a thing. No, they yeah, like you get terrible. a brace and the it has a gangrel and then you get a vest. Punk is family values. <laughs> well, actually, in Boston it is. Mm -hmm. If you take a look at uh, at the Rocky, Rocky Murphys, uh -huh. they're quite wholesome. Fun facts. Anywho, uh, this uh, <laughs> evening's uh, episode is uh, gonna take place. Uh, approximately two months uh, after the Elysium, where. Uh, new kindreds, kindreds of the city was introduced. It was um, uh, Catalina's child that had now returned to her, uh, and a certain new Tremere has entered the flock of kindreds of Boston. For some, maybe a delight, for others, pure terror. We shall see. Mm -hmm. Probably both. Probably both. Yeah. This evening's episode is going to start in a certain hotel, The Y. It's around 11.30 in the evening. And I'm going to paint the scene for you. The camera opens into the scene of Shiv's private quarters downstairs in her very grand uh, living area. On the gramophone, you can hear the flower duet ringing out loudly in, in the great, almost hall-like feeling. It echoes through the rooms. It's empty and dark, two glasses on the table. A pair of stiletto shoes neatly set to the side of the sofa. The camera pans out. It follows strange noises as it glides up to a more sacred space. The door is slightly ajar. And if one could smell, the smell would be slightly sweet with a hint of tobacco also metallic. The sound is a little bit clearer. It's not heavy breathing, it's almost like someone is gasping for air. Rapid. It would strike terror on anyone listening to it. Beyond that sound, you're not really sure if it's quiet sobbing or gently almost laughing. It's unclear. The camera pushes itself through the door and the scene is revealed. A girl 
almost naked, black lace underwear, is sprawled out on the floor, arms to the side. Beautiful golden locks, like a sun around her head, as she's laying there, pale, covered in blood. It's messy. There is a uh, well, someone has been doing art. There's paper thrown around the floor. Some of it now soaked in this blood that's almost blackening. It is both beautiful and horrifying. And you still hear the music lingering in the air. The camera follows the other sound, close to the sarcophagus. Shiv, naked, her hair, the tips of her hair, covered in beautiful purple red black tones, obviously not hair color. The ecstasy that Shiv has felt, so close to the beating heart, that the beast came, and the beast was very greedy. And that laughter, probably, is now turning into sobs as she's coming out of the thrall of the bloodlust and the hunger. I wish you could have seen her, Hayden. I wish I could have been there, seen her, smelled her, tasted her, all oh, the taste. No, no, it's not my fault. I didn't do it. I didn't. You barely can look at her. You know that she's teetering on death's door. A breeze goes through the room. This, this is not who I am. This is not me. This is this is this is her. Oh God, fuck, Shiv. I think I'm like banging on the glass. You see, your hands are it. covered in blood, up to your elbows. You remember the feeling. It started beautiful, as normal, until it didn't. And how fragile those living things are when the beast comes and the beast is greedy. I needed this. You needed this. We needed this. I... It's been so long. You feel them all of a sudden, your unwanted visitor. I think I'm scowling in the direction where whatever. Out of the <laughs> shadow. Where have you been? I needed you. I needed you. I hate to admit it. But you are the only thing that stands in the way of what I want. Because I don't want to be this person, this monster, this fucking dead thing. Just look at her. God, look at her. You hear her. Desperate attempts to breed. He looks at you. He walks calmly and slowly into the room. And he, he kneels down beside her. Don't touch it. Please don't. You've 
done enough. He gently brushes away one of her curls. He looks at you, he locks gazes with you. As he puts his hand around her neck. I think uh, Shiv uses celerity and just rushes over. He puts his hand up so it, it hits your shoulders, your, your hair bounces and blood like flies out into the air. This will not be your death. I'll carry this burden. You once called me a noose. Do you remember? Do you remember what you called me? Did you foresee what I would become? Did you foresee what this would do to me? There's still a chance for you. Let this not be your murder, Miss Price. Let the damned do the damnedest thing. Save your precious humanity. She'll turn around and just like walk, like not straight for the coffin, but just like zigzagging. You can just see the nervous energy just bounces off her. You were the one. Look at me. You took everything. You took the colours from my world. I cannot. Nothing. You owe it to me to get it back. You know that. I do. I do. <sighs> you hear him whisper and you can feel the manipulation of power in the air as he whispers to the girl's sleep. Three seconds later, you hear a snap. A brutal, cold, horrendous sound of a snap. And that horrible gasping stops. How cruel the Queen of Fate is to linking us, bonding on us together like this. I can barely look at you yet. There is this connection. I, I know you're not here for me. You're here for, for her, as I am for him. And I... I know that you are the only thing standing in my way, or not, not standing in my way, but walking it together with me. We are linked, Mr. Price. He, he, he gets up very slowly from the girl. And I cannot apologize or beg for forgiveness anymore. There is no point. There is no forgiveness to be given. And none will be given from me because I I don't understand it. If it was for love, I would have. I would have. I would have even... I would have understood why I've done it. Well, you did it all, all the atrocities you caused. But for what? Why did you do it? If it was not for her, I would have done the same for Aiden. I would. But for what? Punishment of the elders? That thing down in the crypt. Tell me. It... it. You feel the power 
of the love you have for your maker. As did I, and I trusted his every word and his every action, that it was the right one, and I didn't know what he did. He manipulated me in thinking that his vengeance was just, and they all had damned him and us to this. As I said, I, I cannot explain or ask for forgiveness for my action. I can only, perhaps, do some good with this wretched existence and hope that you will, at some point, give me the mercy I so desperately need to end me. There's no happy ending for something like me. Do you think I will be reunited with my love? I am not the person I was. I am William. I'm hers. You still have a chance. I am nothing. I'll walk towards like the side table next to the easel and the, the painting equipment. I'll take out one of the vials. There's two lying on the table there. I hold it up. What would you do for her? Anything? Anything. What? Anything. Anything. I failed. I failed so many. I failed her the greatest. Perhaps I would have been different if she wasn't taken from me. Perhaps we wouldn't be in this situation, perhaps all the lives that now are dust would be here. You might still kiss the sunlight and enjoy your humanity. But I will not. No. You too are damned because of me and my bloodline's actions. He walks closer to you, very cautious of his physical form. If we do this together, I will ask more of you than you would imagine, I think. To maybe not just punish you, but to give me myself some strength and punish those that are closest to you as well. I want the information she has, all of it, all that she learns, all that you learn, know and learn. I want it. That is my price. Your price is fair. And more than I could have asked for. I'll hold the vial up. Your love is holding him captive. I have not been able to see him because of her. God, how she longs for you. He almost longs turns. for the person you were. He turns away and almost like shoves like imaginary force in the air towards you. I am not the man she loved. I can't. No. You must. No. You must take this. You must see her. And you must let her let him go. She promise not. to have her let him go. She won't recognize who I am now, and I can't take away 
the love and the memory she has. I'm a wretched thing, a vile thing. She will know. If you do not do this, and I look to the girl, I won't be able to stop myself. And I... I don't think I will be able to hide it. I don't think I will be able to... to follow through, maybe. I'm... I'm... What I did today... And I don't care if you actually were the one that killed her, because it doesn't work that like that. It was me. It was me that took the last drop of her. It was me that saw what caused it all. He walks over and he grabs your hand with the vial on your shoulder. Did not you are still clean? And I'll fall to the floor and just like, take it. Just fucking take it. You see a single red tear actually run down his cheek. And he flickers in and out of his uh, vis visage and his true form. He wants to say something. He feels almost like his form shakes. For suffering, then. Shiv and the price that needs to be paid. I'll sacrifice mine for yours. And hope I will have some sort of a salvation from it. He takes in and he drinks. On that note, we're going to change out of this scene. <laughs> the camera pans swiftly through the night sky. And I'm sure a manor has been rebuilt to its more modern glory? Or has he been moved? Oh, he's been moved. To, to a basement in another part of the city. Well, that's where the camera brushes through the mid or late March sky. It's a little bit warmer. It's cloudy and the moon peekaboos out through them. Pearls through layers until it hits the basement. A certain young prince is having a conversation. <sighs> with certain some. I say that a heavy is the hand that bears the crown, and true that might be, but to listen to their constant whining but such patty patty useless shit i mean some of them are hundreds years old and act like goddamn children bickering on the playground or who's got once which toys if you could just pull themselves free from their own egos for a while to see the benefit of cooperation. No, no. Instead they plot and scheme. Constantly trying to find a leg up on you. Constantly trying to find a little hold over you, a little twist over you. And now, now we've doubled the city's population of Tremere's. It's bad enough with old Hashimoto. I did tell you about us a little deal with him. I can't help but feel that we've been played most cruelly there. So he says a few words, waves his fingers, and suddenly we're invisible. Pfft, spare me. I'm sure he and the Queen of Boon just had a good laugh about that one at a later stage. Making all this dance, this little pipe, pipe. I 
I know this Neutromir. Not what she seems that way, I think. Yet, yet it could be a good thing, I guess. Anyway. As you clearly know why you wear who you wear, where and who you become. You can't really trust anyone, can you? Can't trust anyone. Everyone has their own little agenda. And this evil still lingers here in the heart of Boston. Waiting. And the Queen of Bones, well, she told she wouldn't go anywhere close. I wouldn't go poking, but I'll trust her about as far as I can throw her and the rest of her misfigured, disgusting little clan. Bloody rats. You just feel them there. He's gnawing away. Oh, well. The night is getting old already and I have so many things to do. I do appreciate these little shots of ours. I do. It's, it's liberating to have someone to unburden to. Especially now that, that she's without my reach, from, without my reach, that I can't hold her, not kiss her, not even tell her why I hurt her so. To see her with those man children she parades around for trying to make me jealous. I'm not jealous. I'm hurt. That's what I am. Hurt that she feels she needs to demean herself like that to get back at me. She would be far better finding someone else. Find happiness somewhere else and move on with her life. But I guess that thing inside of us don't let us do it. The beast just digs in there, it just finds your weaknesses, finds those little slights and injustices, those little words, and blows them off ten times worse than they even were. I don't think there's any question that we are cursed as a race. God cursed us. Indeed he did. Banished us forever from his love. But just because we're more cursed doesn't mean we have to be monsters. Well, anyway, I gotta go. Don't worry, I'll put the lid down before I go. Now sleep tight, my grandsire. Sleep tight, little Montgomery masters. And as always, he's such a good listener. It's so, so good to have someone to unburden to. And he feels better already. Time to put on that face of indifference, and of coldness, and of regal calm, and get on with the business. And looking down at the calendar, the first meeting of the day is going to be a doozy. Well, you're done in the basement, in a secure location in the city. Is it uh, any of your locations or a random location? Oh, no, no, it is this old apartment building with a, with a extra little excavated sub basement, not on any, mm. not on a, not a big room, well, three by four, just, just enough room for a chair and a refrigerator and a power source that is separate from the rest of the building so it won't be traced in. You know JJ is already waiting for you, upstairs. Yep. Put back on his uh, suit. I think he's going for a... Yeah, I think it's the... the a blue pinstripe suit again this time. Three-piece. How is it? Dark. Yeah. Brown shoes. And... Uh, uh, tie pin to keep it... At the church. I don't... I think we're going to go so far as to say both the typing and the cuffling are the clan sigil of the country. Oh, hello. Time to represent. When you... What's up? Yeah. Good evening, JJ. My prince. Your agenda this evening. Yes. 
here it is. Oh. Grant me strength, JJ, grant me strength. These parts are uh, might not necessarily the most pleasant tasks of your reign, but they have their importance. Sir. Indeed they do, JJ, indeed they do. All I can say is thank God I have you, the one dependable rock that I can always put my faith on. <laughs> I'm I'm happy you think I'm I'm, I'm doing a good job, sir. Your uh, your appreciation that means the world to me. Thank you, but it doesn't even have a kindle to what I owe you. Sometimes I think you are the only sensible person in this city, JJ. I'm just very good at my job, sir. I know uh, my position. I know my role and I know what uh, role I have to play. Indeed. As I know mine. Right. I s think you have perhaps two meetings, sir. Yeah. Yep. Well, let's get on with the first one. Right. No due to put it off. Even though putting my hand down the garbage disposal wouldn't be as much fun. Right. Are you taking the meetings in this house? Or no, no, no. It's taking at the... At the reap. I mean, yeah, yeah, at the tower, probably. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and as you glide through the night, the camera's going to pan out yet again. It's going to stop right above a park. And a certain gangrel. Mr. Sean. Mr. Sean, indeed. Indeed. I and think he's them, sitting by himself if, at this moment. Right. You've sent your uh, other clan members to get acquainted with the area? Yeah. So I'm just enjoying the the smell around the, the dock point, the dock uh, pond. I want them How to... How quaint and, <laughs> and cosy it is when shit is not blowing <laughs> up in everybody's faces. Yeah, this, this feels like a... A little piece of the countryside in the middle of in the middle of the city. Well, your tranquil, uh, calm moment is very quickly uh, coming to an end as you see Muriel uh, uh, walking up uh, as she has had a conversation with Bob and and he walks off. So, how do you find the the area? You know what, Sean? Uh, I do. I find it quite quaint. It is perfect, no? I think it's a bit easier to hunt than out in the boondocks. It is. It works. Uh, it helps with uh, positioning ourselves in uh, in the city. Yeah, it's also just a stone throw away from the Elysium. It's perfect, no? Mm. The best part Wait. is, I'm going to show you in uh, <laughs> as long as everybody has been around the park and marked their territory. I, uh, <laughs> <She laughed. laughs> I found us a, a little piece of uh, housing here. To accommodate everyone, no? To accommodate everyone. It also Perfect. has a little bar. Ah, even better still. Yes. Uh, Bob will be uh, tickle pink. <laughs> but I'm, Sean. I'm sure. Talk to me. Is this claimed by anyone else? As far as I know, no. Maybe the Nosferatus. Now the. Um, the Keeper of the Elysium. Mainly keeps to the Elysium. Who's we are not protest? stepping on anyone else's toes. We don't have to ruffle any feathers. I'll, I'll give the prince a text. We should. Nice. Because if we're going to claim it and hunt. Yeah, of course. Shit's going to kick up if this is someone else's domain. Yeah, that is going to be a 
bit of a scuffle. I send uh, Chris a text. Has uh, anybody claimed the... Oh, what was the name of that park again? Two seconds. If anybody's uh, claimed the Bayback fence. Do I know such a thing? Bayback fence, what is it close to? It Fenway. is close to Fenway Park. It is close to um, Museum of Fine Art. It is close to uh, all of Shiv's uh, endeavors. It's territory of Torador. That was what I Actually, was about to question it, because it, it sounded is. very much like uh, something that would be hers. Yeah. Hers? And I'll text that to him. You will need to talk to the Torador Primogen about that, I believe. Hmm. I don't think she will be caught dead in this uh, in this bush. Uh, then I send a text to Shiv. Mind if we... Uh, <laughs> you don't get an answer yet. <laughs> no. Mind if we use the, the Bayback fence, that uh, rough patch uh, near the river, as a hunting ground. We'll keep away from all the artsy stuff. That is the text whenever mm. she sees it. Simuel. It's, yeah, it's Shiv's, uh, Shiv's domain. That is a happy coincidence, no? It is, I hope. I guess we can make a deal. I'm sure we can. Yes, now, let's uh, go have a look at this uh, little bar, no? Yeah. She whistles, boop! <laughs> and you see him changing from like a very large, not wolfhound, quite boar, mm. husky <laughs> dog, <laughs> into human. Oh, not human, kindred, but his fault. Angel is still away on business. Uh, I was. Uh, I wanted to speak to you about that. I am concerned. We haven't heard anything for months. Yeah, but that's what she said. I know, but it's been long. Yeah, she worried. said it. It might take years. I wish we could just at least get something. Yeah. I hope so too. I am concerned. Don't like the don't like the situation. I don't like the silence. I do not. No. I think we should keep our little family of familiar humans where they were. In case something comes out of the woods from that direction. Yeah, but we also should have a few of them uh, here of to course, attend the bar course, and to of course. keep the business. Maybe we can have an outpost situation, yeah. like a rotation. That's a good idea. Let's do that. Just to keep tabs. Hmm. Just to make sure. Yes? D'accord. D'accord. Excellent. Most definitely. Oh, fuck, I'm speaking French. <laughs> and Bob walks up. Oh, lordy dumb motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> She's rubbing off on you. Parla vous, frog language. <laughs> yeah, yeah, never, never, never mention that country again. Never. Mm-hmm. 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 All right, then. Let's go have a look at this bar of yours. Yeah. Never fancied yeah. being a bartender, Bob. No, no, I'm more of a b bar attendee. <laughs> Bartender Bob, can you brew oh, it? Oh, bouncer. Boun I, b I bounce. Bounce. Yeah, but that doesn't fit into the Bob the Builder song now, does it? Oh, sh shut your face. He walks <laughs> off. <laughs> Best not to say to him yet that it's uh, Torado territory, just in case. Yeah. He's a little bit too excited. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't change that, would we? 
I perhaps have found someone I would like to has as a child. Oh, I was going to ask you that ah, about that uh, I, um, when you were talking about family. Soon, Sean, I would like you to meet this person. See what you think, no? Pure human or ghoul? Human. Hmm. Let's see if it... Uh, well, if you agree, no? Yeah, of course. I'll speak my mind. The only problem with the bar... It's a little bit close to the to the tracks. Ugh, no worries, Sean. Mm. Who cares? Just don't go. But this is ours, and trains. we have a stake in the city. Mm. It's good for us. What do you think it is? We will show them what we really can do. Yeah. We're actually good walks. for something. All of a sudden, she looks over her shoulder. Did you see that, Sean? What? Ears up, ears pointed. There's nothing there. She just like it's a shadow uh, towards one of like the fences around the park. The wind, maybe the lights, trickery. She's like, I could swear I saw something weird moving. How? Weird. But I cannot smell anything. So it's not animal. Nothing. No. Still. Best keep them their eyes open. Yeah, Bob shouting. Are you coming? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm going to kick down this door. No, don't do that. I got big boots on. Hey, well, you break it, you fix it. I ain't no Bob the Builder. And he laughs. Now you are. <laughs> now you are. I, I stay working and, yeah. to the bar to see what the future will bring in, in this new domain. Hopefully, the camera is going to pan out again. And it's going to go back to Shiv's little sacred place. Not so sacred anymore. His eyes will roll back into his skull. And it's bizarre. It's like looking at someone, like when you see in movies when they've been filmed in water and they've been placed in a room, the, their body moves awkward and fluid-like. You see him almost pleading with someone. And then grasping. You're seeing a conversation that's one-sided without words. It lasts... Seconds, maybe a minute. And then he falls, almost like on tippy toes. He convulses and he falls to the ground. I mean, she was sitting, or was at least sitting in front of him. So I'm, I'm guessing I'll try and support him. Well, then he falls onto you. He grabs you and you hear... Like Hulk's cries as he grabs onto you for their life. For whatever reason, she'll embrace him, like hold him. It's strange showing this creature compassion. Yeah. He's he he was her doom. He is her doom. He he's. Uh, all the destruction is caused by him, at least in her mind. But it is. Most of it. And perhaps yeah. he can be a salvation. Oops. You hear me? I can't. I can't. It's too much. It's too much. How can you bear it? Siobhan, how can you bear it? How can you not? It is... It is everything. 
I don't know what you saw, I don't know what you experienced, but when I see him, being able to see him and feel him, and at the same time have my heart beat, what more could you wish for? That was not my experience. He pulls back and for a minute he, he leans his forehead towards yours. You can hear his teeth are, are so hardly clenched. You can hear like teeth almost cracking. She will not. But the, if you do that again. You have my word. It is done. You sure? Yes. Do you swear? Because yes. if I, if I smell the faintest whiff of roses, I will know that you've been lying. That it's not what you propose it is. Then you feel him like he grabs you really hard, and you see a, a pang of rage. And there you see him. There he is. That's the scary white shark you remember. I've done everything you have asked and more. I have sacrificed the last little bit I gave a shit about. I want what I've asked for. Do not to turn my gift into a curse. And then it's almost like he catches his up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think she was kind of retracted a little bit, like yeah, because that was like scooted, yeah, behind, like yeah. See, that's the person I remember. That's the tree, you right? He's dead. He's dead. I'm just a thing. And I will do whatever you ask. But you need to ask it. I'll make sure your hands are clean. That you have your happy ending. I need what you offered me. And then more. Oh. But it's a place to start. They need to feed. Consider it Yesterday. Done. I'll get right on that. Don't ask any questions. Don't sully yourself with what I will do next. When I come, look away. When I'm ready, you call the wizard. He gets up, he looks a little bit defeated, but also determined, which is an oxymoron. <laughs> I will not harm you anymore. Thank you. It is done. He looks even wider and more more weird looking now. And for a second there's almost something you can see in his forehead. Like a Small little cuts and markings. Were they there before? Did the old one have them? Just random markings, like or or something specific. Straight lines, weird thing. It's difficult to say. 
You don't recognize them necessarily. Okay. Maybe that's not her focus right now either. If my mother moves against you, I'll do my best to give you the information, but she has a great and terrible control over my being. Anything and everything would be helpful. I... I think if we're to move forward, I need that. I need leverage. I need security. I understand. As best as I can, but I cannot promise everything. Such is the control. Of course. He goes over to the now very dead Mikhail girl. <laughs> and for a minute, he almost looks like he has compassion for the, for the corpse. And he scoops her up. Not your kill. Not your burden. And for a minute, when she leans against his chest, she just looks like a sleeping girl. I wish that was true. But it is not. I'll make sure what you need. That you have it. And when it's ready, I'll let you know. You know where to find me. I do. He steps into the shadow and who knows how she gets in and out of this place. So much for top security. <laughs> I think I'll get up as he's leaving and go over to where she was. And just kind of sit down in her blood. And just smear it out. <laughs> I'm going to smear it out a little bit while I'm like banging the floor and crying my head out. I'm like, <laughs> not her kill but still her kill not her kill but still death on her you hear downstairs mistress mistress this seems to be a message for you mistress Not now. Not now. I shout. On that note, the camera pans out. Are we going back into the scene with uh, Christopher Masters as he arrives at the tower? Go up to the meeting room, sit down and wait for the first of the evening's meetings. And which are you starting with? Starting with the, the, the chimera, get that out of the way. I'm assuming, assuming the other one is going to take more time. So, promptly at the agreed time of meeting, Paris de Winter glides into the room. Ah. Good evening, Miss Winters, and prompt on time as well. Please, of come course, in, please. sit, sit. Thank you. And he sits down again himself. So, may I offer you anything before we start, or are you okay? I'm perfectly fine, thank you, sir. Excellent, excellent. 
Så alla skötte under brass tax. Mm-hmm. A little shot at the, the why was cut short, as you know. So I thought it was good to have a little follow-up meeting and get to know each other a tad more and talk more about the state of the city and your interests and plans and what you said at the Elysium of serving said city. Well, it's it's the job, the description, so to speak. Uh, I'm sure you are in a need of someone of my capabilities to aid well, you in your government of the city. Of course, of course, one would never. I do, do believe there's not even a prince in the world who wouldn't be grateful for the assistance of the skills of the Tremere in such a matter. <laughs> I'm a bit uh, curious, though, what brought you to, I didn't, we didn't get into it last time, what brought you to Boston? Well, I was well recommended to uh, come and offer my services. Hmm. Interesting. You might want to ask we recommend by who? And I mean, don't get me wrong, Mr. Vintas. I mean, I want to say this, but I do love my city and I do love Boston. But it is undeniable. The most wretched scum, a place of scum and villainy on the entire East Coast. So I do find it interesting that you find oh, a particular, particular little corner of the world the most interesting to come to. But of course, I don't know. Maybe you do enjoy a challenge. Let's just say that there are interested parties, of of course, of the Kamangala, uh, that want to make sure that the the city is as safe as it possibly could be. Well, I'm glad to hear it. We all are fighting for the same cause, and we all on the same side. And there has to be very honest, Prince. There has befallen the city quite traumatic events the last few years. Losing the old, then losing another big chunk of a generation. Then uh, an anarch attack. Very right. An anarch attack which I quite readily squashed. No one, I am not here to take anything away from your endeavours of keeping the city safe. And I don't get me wrong, I'm I'm glad you're here. I feel I can use as much help as I can. These rabble rousers will undoubtedly be back. It's the way of the world. You see, what we understand is that order is needed. And order oh. is what the Camarilla provides. He's here. Though my worries, to truth be told, is more... Well, let's take this anarch uprising we had. The reason we managed to stop them was because we acted fast, swiftly, and went on the attack. Instead of retreating back into our castles and our strongholds and wait for them to come to our doors, we counterattacked. Oh, which was clever. Indeed. And also, I must admit, and I criticize my own clan here, I do know it, not in this city, of course. I, have the utmost confidence in their capabilities, but what worries me a bit is that certain elements of the Camarilla do not see the danger that lies within our organization. If we alienate too many of the young ones, if we snub and look down on the low clans too often, we risk at one point that some of them no longer feel that their interest, plus interests are served by remaining within the Camarilla. I understand your point of view. But that's why you have leaders. And, exactly. and that's why you have the ones that don't. Good leaders understand to keep the lower clans or their subjects in check. 
I think it less to do with keeping people in shack and a lot more to realize that as a prince, you're on, yes, you rule the city and you are the leader. But first and foremost, you serve. You serve the Camarilla and you serve the vampires of the city. You serve the different clans. It's not just about keeping people in line. It's about keeping people content. You want stability, equilibrium. I must say, it's quite progressive thinking for a prince. Let's just say that I come from a background where I know that respect and fear must be balanced out by utilitarianism and the ability to deliver. Too little and too much on the one side and you set, find yourself sitting down, turning your car keys around. Uh, and the next thing you know, <laughs> everything is burning. <laughs> cute, cute analogy, <laughs> if I may say so, Prince. But that's a human analogy. Shilling. Yes, it is. But you see, what I've learned in my short, admittedly short time amongst our kind is that so we're no longer humans. We are not entirely apart. Of course not. Clans want things, individuals, vampire want things. And you must be willing to make them accept make them accept your decisions. And you must be able to both crack the whip and dangle the carrot, so to speak. I, I couldn't agree more on that notion. I also firmly believe it's important to understand that the way we have governed, we have governed for hundreds and hundreds of years. If you change too much too quickly and flirt with the notion of democracy, you will find your reign very short indeed, because then every pauper think themselves a prince, sire. Of course, you can't have that. But the opposite is true as well. Well, the whole if the Camarilla had been If the Camarilla had been a bit more proactive and a bit more flexible, the Alec problem wouldn't be half the problem it is. Oh, that's a bold statement for someone so young and, dare I say, new to the night. Don't get me wrong. It's not the ideology and it's not the thinking that's it, it's a problem it's the glacial time from taking and making a decision to putting an election no at some times that is the right way to do take your time analyze everything angle it all up but when your enemies are vampires that are hugely cannot for the younger than even I am, waiting too long might find yourself on the wrong side of a suicide bomber or, well, such a thing. No, make I... them fear you, make them respect, but even more important, make them respect you. And three, make them realize that they're worse off with anyone else but you. Three cornerstones of a successful reign. It's fascinating. I both agree and disagree with you. Well, like I said, it's, it's a, a reason thing. why I've managed it's to... just a tiny little thing in, in your deduction that might not go the way you want to in such a scenario. Kinder, it's a static thing. You are, in a Indeed. sense, time capsules. Exactly. That is why a leader must be the one that can make things happen. I Left understand under that. And I, I do admire your young powers and go get a kind of attitude. But a lot of your subjects are not new to the night. Nope. And that comes into the reason why one must be able to understand and 
I would just empathize. No, not um, yeah, empathize. Not necessarily sympathize, but empathize with their desires. I would, I would, as if I can be of any counsel, because I'm here to serve you, sir. Of course, sir. Which will segue nicely into the next part of conversation. One exactly. What services you could provide? Wow. We are wizards, are we not? Indeed. You have a problem. I see if I can solve it for you. Interesting. Also, I must admit, one thing is solving problems, but even better than that are sniffing them out before they become a problem. There's a ways to do many things. I am not an all-knowing, omnipotent crystal ball. <laughs> Who of us are? Who of us are? Well, as I and said, I do, I do have some knowledge how this, our Camarilla society works. And why it works, and why we are not anarchs. And I might be of good guidance to you in that aspect. Well, I would appreciate it very much. Excellent. As I said, I am here as a loyal servant of the throne. I'm glad to hear it. And I'm glad that the city has another stoke supporter of the Camarilla. Yes. It's important to have people who understand why one must... I wouldn't say put, just put the society first, but why we need the Camarilla. What it guarantees. And the total exactly. anarchy and bedlam would, that would emerge if we didn't have it. Exactly. I have great hope for you. I see, I see promise. Glad to hear it. Now, there are certain elements that need to be taken care of, of course, and there are a few things that still worries me about the Anarchs, particularly, but for the moment, I think they're still licking their wounds after a failed attempt. Let's make sure the city is strong. And on that notion, we have done what we can do to tighten up security, to tighten up an e an entry points and such like. And uh, I must say that our city's fine sheriff is a very keen uh, civil servant. Uh, Dr. Nightingale, I do. I, I, I have taken a shining to him. I've, I'm most comfortable with him for sheriff because I know that no matter who and no matter what, he will see the matter to the end. He will I'm keep us sure all honest. I'm sure if there's any threat to their ruling power and to the stability of the city. He will sniff that out lickety split. And then Indeed. you will see how I have other skills for you, sire. Fantastic. Well, I should I should maybe have a chat with Dr. Nightingale just just to prove to you my usefulness. Certainly. Perhaps we should have a meeting for all three of us as well. To He's been saying work more fluidly together. He has the suspect that he is worried about. He wouldn't give me any information, obviously. It's for the prince. I believe but he I think... has uh, a suspicious eye towards all of us. Is what as, will keep us honest. As he should. Well, I will not take any more of your time, Dose Prince. Uh, I will be on my way. I have just uh, got into my, uh, my new uh, estate. I'm quite content. Uh -huh. I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. It's important to put down roots wherever one goes. Right. Uh, the why was quite pleasant, but it's important to have one's own, well, chambers. Yes, we all need our own sanctum sanctorum. Of course, of course. Well, uh, I will leave you to it. I'm sure you'll have a very busy evening, sir. Yes, uh, still some meetings to go. You know, the life of a public servant. <laughs> she laughs very coy. Yep. She laughs with her as well and gets up and escorts her to the door. You see, JJ is just outside and she. Mm. Devinta. And she has uh, escaped. She escapes. <laughs> she leaves. She escapes. She what the hell? She leaves. Excellent. We escaped the clutches. 
Uh, on he, that, and no? then, yeah, and then before he, and when she just left, he picks up his phone and he sends a text. No, not a text actually. You have text is enough with the clear understanding that it must be deleted afterwards. Well, mute for me is a sly one, Miss Michavon. I do appreciate the information you passed on, and I can truly see it. Yes, I can. Do be careful around her, will you? Sand. On that little note, we're going to have a little break. Uh, and after the break, we're going to go into uh, the establishment of the Gangrels, looking uh, and getting acquainted with the territory. Something might happen, and we will see. What will happen? Nothing never happens. Nope. It's a trick. No. It's Get a an trick. axe. <laughs> and chop, chop, chop wood. We'll just make drink tea and, and make friends. That's what's going to happen. Yep. Everyone is uh, happy. Uh, Find a no, no, no. knife. Find a knife and stab someone. <laughs> All right. We will be back in just a few. Look at me. I look really straight. Oh, mm, mm. oh bye. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Hi and welcome back from the break. It's 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 been emotional. It's been intense and You're uh, emotional. You're intense. I that is very true. I think I was a torador in another life. Perhaps. Also this. Also Or this. just in this. Yeah. Or just in this. I am every I am God. Shut your face holes. Yep. Here we go. We're gonna go directly into the scene uh, with a Sean where he has uh we are well, you know, we are acquainted his clan members to the now wanted new territory, uh, bar and said area around. As you are having a chit chat with Muriel and well, Bob is lingering in the entry point into the bar. Uh, he shot Sean. Oi. There's a Volvo outside. It's a Volvo. I peek outside. Is it a known Volvo? Out of the Volvo you see... Uh, um, oh my god, I, I was going to say Candice, but that's not... Uh, <laughs> Bruja Pemberton! <laughs> Catalina Murdoch. Mm. And with her childer. Cat and the pretty boy. Show sure, my man. What, what's... What's going on? What do you mean, what's going on? No, it's not often we see all of you guys in the city. Seems just looking around it's like you. What's going on? Now we're planning uh, to get more city like. Oh, so. Uh... The Torador Primogen has letting you stay on her land. Not yet. She will. To stay on her land? Or make a deal of some sorts. On this land? Do you have a problem with that? Yeah. Talk to me. For fuck's sake, Sean. Henry, fuck off. Yes, ma'am. Is it Bob? He's like, yeah. <laughs> Make fucking room. <laughs> the grown ups are talking. I'm not going to be a bitch about it, Sean. This land was ours. Okay. 
What do you mean was? Way back when, us Brujas, Brujas were more numerous in numbers before your time. So yesterday. <laughs> we did a. We did a great service to. The Prince Montgomery Masters. Then in return, we were going to give him a certain part of the city. This part of the city. Then what happened? We took care of a problem that took care of a great number of us. We lost two friends, warriors, allies. And at that point, dearest Montgomery decided that we hadn't earned it. Uh, he, he was a proper cunt. And to clean his hands of it, he gave it to Diana. Knowing that we weren't powerful enough to stake a claim. Sound like some something he would have done. I'm sorry, Sean, but giving this to you will be an insult to us. It can't stand like it is. I'm not faulting you in this. You know we've been through stuff. Yeah, I know. I trust you, Sean. So what do you propose? Got a parlay with the prince on this. I'm not... Fuck, Sean, I'm not gonna... Of course you should have a stake in the city, and if this is... We need to be given something. Yeah, of course you do. We are growing in numbers. I get it, but we need something to... Yeah. We've been pushed out because we were few. Now we are not few anymore, I Sean. I know, I know. And quite frankly, us and you guys, we number now. Yeah, we are, I know. We I should know, have a bigger part of, of our grounds. We've been left with the butt of the fucking asshole because we were so few in the city. It's true. If we, I'm to lay any more of my clan members down their lives to protect this prince and this fucking city. Karina, come inside. She's, you see, she's very, like, agitated. Yeah. You know I'm not your enemy. We've I know had that's... Our, uh, we, we've had our share of uh, we've fought, Sean. We've, we've fought. We did. You, you've proven yourself loyal. I know you're loyal. I'm loyal to the city. I know you first are. First and foremost. But, uh, I'm also loyal to my clan. Yeah. I know. I will not sit at the end of the prince's table being given crumbs. Not anymore. The new prince says that we are more equal now. Where is the goddamn equality, Sean? I'll if I'm to, to take the knee... I want her to take the knee. Come on now. I'll, I'll fix something. The princes, they so quickly forget what we do to keep them safe. Yeah, I know. They look upon us as expendable, 
because we are the brute force, we are the fist of the prince. And when he has no need of us, what are we left with? The curse of the warrior. Crumbs. I will not fight your claim, but if not, I'm not given. There will be a situation. Let's not go there. I was actually also going to invite you because there is something going on in the city. Something new. There is another coalition that doesn't compute with with uh, different political um, organized crime factions. A new faction goes by the name The Hand. I've heard whispers of that. Yeah. Deals in trafficking. I've heard whispers of it. I have yet to personally take an interest. Yeah, I've taken interest. Okay. Do you need anything from us? Ears, eyes to the ground. Just give me a heads up if you find something. That's I it. I can promise it would be so much easier if we had a proper domain. Especially in, in those areas. If we yeah. could govern better. Of course. We could protect the streets better. Not fearful of... So Pissing on someone else's goddamn hunting ground. Who has the dogs? Nosferatu. Nosferatu has the dogs. Nosferatu they don't give has... a shit about the petty, the crime, the no, syndicates. No, they don't care. They thrive on that. Yeah. Girls they... go missing. Good for them. Yeah, I know. They don't give a shit. It's not their war. It's not their battle. It's not their sin. Yeah, and the Nazis has the. Um... Has the cop hill, so that's the most Nosferatu of the. The has too fucking much. Yeah, they have too much. The Queen of Bones sits too pretty on her throne. What the hell is she given all these things? What the hell is she given cop hill? She deals in secrets. Don't give a shit. It should have been given to you. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have cop hill if I was. Well, then I would take it. No, you wouldn't. You don't know what I would take. I know you this... would take Hop Hill. I... I do not want to be dismissed anymore. No, of course. I've been patient, Sean. Who has uh, Somerville and the area around the tracks up there? That should be Ventura. That should be Ventura. Torador has this part of the city and Ventura of course has too we have shite and you have shite as it has been for a very long time yeah your grandsire pulled slowly but surely the clan out yeah he was a wuss ugh gosh no but he was I was left with nothing. That's pretty much was we. We were not weak anymore. Sean. I will not move on this if... You are closer to him than I am. Yeah. I've asked if he's still... to be kept on the council, but it's not war times. It isn't. So who am I to be called upon? No glory for me. Crumbs. Yeah, but there still is... Uh... I need to get an oversight over the city. Who has what? Who owns what territory and who to deal with?
because the city owes us quite a lot after the the Anarchs Kavafel. Oh, they owe us. Oh, and the prince will pay. He will pay a king's ransom for what he owes us. Mm. She grabs your shoulder and grabs your hand, like like compadres would. Mm. I would not move against you, Sean. I wouldn't move against you either. Let's make sure that we have a direct line of conversation on this. Yeah. And uh, you and yours, always uh, welcome into the pub. Thank you, Sean. Talk to the prince. I think we'll name the pub the War Room. <laughs> Clever. Appreciate it. Mm. But uh, no fighting in the war room, though. We should get a fighting pit going. <laughs> oh, I'm get not... some of that pent up aggression out. Yeah, I'm not into the into that, but uh, I would love to have a free. fighting pit. I w- feel free. Need more space. Need more space. I need what's what's mine. I need what's you, Sean. Mm. If I can ask this of you, speak with him before. I do. Yeah. It would probably be more civil. It would. She calls for her boy, her child, mm-hmm. and he's like, see you later, Sean. Talk to you. And then I send a text to Shiv and Chris. Uh, Shiv and Chris, can we have a meeting? Oh, great. More meetings. I'm just going to whine about now. Okay, wait a minute. How long is it to my next meeting? You actually have some time. I have free time if you'd like to come to the tower now. I'm there in ten. Bring ship. Motherfucker. <laughs> hey, if you're gonna wait for her to up, you're gonna spend like three hours getting dressed. We all know how this is gonna work. <laughs> we don't There's have no time promise for that. that she will uh, will use less even if she's naked. <laughs> no, I I call Shiv. At this point I think maybe she's had a sour how long has it been? I mean, uh, I, uh, uh, around two hours. Yeah, then I think she's not long, no longer sobbing, painting with blood stuff. Yes, uh, she's had a shower. Um, Eve is bobbing around you, looking nervous because your aura is different, your presence is different. Mistress, I, I beg of you, your phone has been. I do not pry. It's. It's the personal phone. Your phone. Who is it? I, I have not looked upon it. You know I, I, I will not. If anyone is, you might as well be you. So, please. As you wish, mistress. The first text is from Chris. Right? Yep. Please remind me. It was just like, hmm. He thanks you for it. Uh, oh, information right. gave and told you to, yeah. be, uh, yeah. to be on the locker, to, to be careful around her. She is not to be trifled with, that one. And Yep. Yep. And then there is first one for Sean about the territory. Yeah. Yeah. And then there is another one from Sean saying, we got to go <laughs> to Chris now. Um, I'll send a text. And by the Rain time check. you're in the middle of that text, you get, I'm outside. And 
and then a couple of a half a minute later, you get <laughs> on the car horn. Well, he's all the way up in the hotel. I don't think he cares. Yeah. <laughs> no. I think she's sitting like in a in not in any of the levels you've been in. I'm I'm sitting in the middle level, which is just thirteen B. Nothing. It is nothing in there. It's just clean. Like there is not even paintings on the walls. It's nothing. Just rooms. I think because he's like a little bit of, obviously very affected of what happened with the girl, but also William and hers interaction and response. They are now very deeply connected down a very dark rabbit hole. Don't say that. I was hoping this was a joyride. <laughs> <laughs> well, with me it is. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I think she's mustered to get like something on. Well, Eva has uh, black uh, silk pants, uh, a black singlet, and a black, very stylish uh, male smoking jacket. She's dressed mm. you in. Oh, nice. I thought it was her you were describing. No, 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 no. She's dressed you. And you see, uh, are these your heels? It's the girl's heel. I'll go over and I take them from her. And I just, I, I walk around the room and then I put them in the middle of the room. I'm just like putting them down. There's a part of you thinking, you could have been her. I you, was her. You almost. Was almost. Of course not. I, I, I've got your, I, I, I've got your Louboutins. Thank you. And he was here. She's downstairs, mistress. I'll talk to you later. Of course, mistress. Sorry for my distance. No, no, no. I s Do not concern yourself with me, mistress. She looks with you actually with genuine love, as a very blood bounded ghoul will. Mm hmm. <sighs> she was so horrible. Oh, okay. Vampires oh, are not good guys. Yes. Let no. me say this we are not <laughs> playing heroes, we are playing anti heroes and villains. Oh, I'll go Chin -chin. to the. Um... I'll um, kiss her forehead and I'll go to the... Uh, but very... N not not as affectionate as I usually No, am it's more of a... Uh, uh, yeah. This is what I usually do, so I'll do it and then you I'll f You feel on. like she, she longs for more, but she, she snaps back. Mm. And, uh, yeah, I'll, t I'll take the elevator down. You pass Adnan, mistress. You actually a little, little bit of a haze glide out, all covered in black. It's suitable. Hmm. Sean, was he? Is calm. He's right outside. Didn't even care to come in, did he? Seemed to be in a bit of a rush. The car is running. I was running, running, running. Sure. And I'll walk out to the car. Step I, inside, um, because I'm guessing there is no one holding a door for me. Of course there is. I've learned oh. a lesson. <laughs> Yay! Suit you, uh, miss. She smells a little bit suspect. He smells what? She so smells a little bit suspect. She does. You don't need to guide him. If he doesn't want to know, he doesn't I want to know. I actually was thinking about that. E gangrel, they have senses. Yes, yes I do. know. And we don't smell. worry, it's just obsession by <laughs> Siobhan. 
<laughs> Obsession <Yay>! by Shiv. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, it was a very nice, a nice perfume. One. Where is or was it perfume? My character sheets. It's perfume Ooh. on Shiv, it would be musk on Sean. That's the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Gangrel and Torrid are summed up in an easy phrase. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bollocks to that. I don't need to Fuck find it. my Shit. character sheet elsewhere. There it is. We're doing a traditional long episode. Oh, interlude today. Epilude. It's an important Interlude. scene, so. Uh, and I'm boss, so I decide. <laughs> Forgot to mention that earlier when you, when you said you were God. Quite frankly, I think it's it's more the other fellow. But okay. Uh, what? Ah, is the van? <laughs> yes. So was Lucifer. That was not charming. What is my horns poking out? I I'm am just rolling shove them back uh, in. <laughs> on my insight, and I roll for successes. Oh, you wanna defend for his smells? No, no I don't think if a shower didn't her. help, then it's 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 it's, it's the gangrel thing. Um, there's something dark, death. Something. Should dead blood, call... dead death around her. Should have called uh, Chris Shiv. He's Shiv. from the background and knows what you have to do with the blood. Bleach. Lots of it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute while I go bleach. Mm, no. Must no, never mind. In the tube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because bleach burns away dead cells. Bye, eternal yes. life. Ooh, that's Ooh. a nice way of going. <laughs> yeah, that's horrible. All right, you're driving well, a yeah. swift pace, sitting beside each other, and there's a slight smell of death yeah. uh, around uh, Shiv. Shiv? Slight. Mm. Talk to me. What for? I think you, you should know? rather tell me why we're going to see Chris. What's oh, that's uh, that's one hundred. I was in the middle of something. Okay, now that's one hundred percent internal vampire politics to prevent uh, internal strife. Does it have anything to do with it? The the, uh, the text you sent me. It has everything to do with the text I sent you. And some uh, angry brujas and uh, my. I'm guessing you just uh, kind of like yeah. looping me in into the yes. entire scene. <laughs> it sounds like this is a you problem, not as much as me problem. No, but it's also a you problem because you are Torador. It can be. Well, a maybe I like to keep it. Then we need to do it, make a trade. So if I, if you want something of mine, and I say I want to keep it, then I need to give you something for that. I don't think that's how it works, Sean. I can drive you back and um, we can completely ignore the problem and uh, you can have a bunch of angry brujas at your doorstep. Catalina doesn't scare me. <laughs> she can make a ruckus, but she does not know the final things or you know, she doesn't know how to maneuver. So no, I don't really give a shit what she wants. You smell like death, Shiv. Literally death. Well, I am fucking dead, so what do you expect? No, it's not that kind of dead. It's dead blood. Okay. On that note, you actually stop outside the tower. 
just to keep the touch. I'll get out. Open my own goddamn door. <laughs> and there is tension. No. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll walk to the elevator. I'm guessing we're going up. Yeah, I don't think we're going down. No, you see no. the... Uh, well, obviously, you can... He's one of the... In the entourage of ghouls that he has. He bows. Primitive. Opens the door. Image. Gov. I'm walks, just walking. Yeah, walks with you in. Uh, push the right button. Make sure you get up. Is there tension in the elevator? Are we talking? Are we like? I think it's dead quiet. Oh, awkward. I love it. And number of floors. I'm still. I'm standing behind him, like leaning against the wall in the in the. Elevator. A number Just of floors. Staring him. A number of floors up. Chris sits and looks at the monitor. <laughs> well, that's interesting. In the from the car or from the hotel or where from? No. <laughs> from, the, from the from the elevator. From the elevator. The mo- elevator. Yeah. They're like, well, that's interesting. And I can feel a stress headache coming on already. Uh, Saya, do you wish me in the room? Yes, actually, I think that might be a okay, a good idea, a good idea, JJ. I sure is. I will let them in. I would, I would hope it was a social call they were coming from, but from judging from the bugged language, language in that elevator, the children are fighting. Bing! You're there. You see the face of JJ. Primogen. Primogen. JJ? Oh. Hmm. Primogen. Dearest oh, of my friends, come in, prince, come in. Dearest of our, cut the bullshit. Sit down. Can I get you any, either or anything? Yeah, the room actually, is grand <laughs> and f- like glass from ceiling to uh, wall. It is, it's a prince's greeting room with a long ass table in the middle. That's a nice long ass table. <laughs> it's right in the middle. Yep. I like it. Yeah, I was here when I got here. And the thought of moving it is not appealing to me. Yeah. Also, oh. I know you're, you're not the interior, de- interior decoration kind of guy. Nope. I knew this one guy who was Czechoslovakian. And there they He was an interior decorator. Yeah. She was just by the window and she's just looking out over the city. So, what brings you here tonight? What's so urgent? Thing is... Our grandsire's political matters come back to bite us in the ass. Mm. Also, I want to park. But that's another... uh, ah, It's sort of the same agenda. No shit. (laughs) (laughs) Thing is, the Brujas were promised that... uh, Back uh, water park near the Fenway, between the Fen- Fenway Park and the Museum of Modern Art. Oh, yes, I know there. It's, uh, it's the tor- Torridor area, is it not? Yes, it was promised to the Brujas, given to the Torridor. Uh, it would be perfect for the gangrel, but uh, yeah, there is the problem. And I assume our timeshare deal is out of the question. Uh, a what? Okay. A what? <laughs> Nothing. It's an invest- investment opportunity down in Cancun. Yeah, never been there. So, you would like to move the gangbusters into the city. You would wish to relocate them to an area that once was promised to the Buras, was given to the Torridor, and is currently governed by the Torridor. Well, and uh, I assume that, uh, well, shouldn't there be a third primogen here? Or do, does either one of you speak for the Brujas in this matter? In this matter, I promised uh, to speak for the Brujas. And what is it you want and what is your agreement? My agreement? Because it seems to me you just expect me to hand it over. 
I expect nothing. I um, am uh, saying what I want and uh, I'm asking what you, if you if you want to make a deal. Or if you want to fight. Because that's pretty much the... The... The scenario. <laughs> I'm assume that <laughs> fighting would be with a brewhouse and not with the gangles, yes. right? Yes. Oh, just to clarify that before you answer to that, wouldn't you? Uh, well... <clears throat> What a fucking joke. Uh, uh, Chris, Prince, you need to do an inside check in the room. Because I don't think this is going to be... Everybody's going to agree in two seconds flat. Oh, no, no, but... Uh, he, he, he's, he's like, they're mad at each other. For once, they're mad at each other and not mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he's relishing it. <laughs> Quite frankly, he's lapping it up. Uh, All right, so he, he, get, he, he No, no, gets... he's going to have them uh, inside. Uh, let's see, what do we say we roll? Is that wits inside? Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming I have one in hunger. Mm-hmm. Three successes. I can tell you this much. Not necessarily they're so angry at each other, but there is a palpable, weird tension. Something tells me that let Sean pick the wrong day to broach a wrong night to broach this subject, which if, but okay. Um. But there, but like, and you also as Sean's when he's when he says fight, he means it. He means it. Well, that's what I'm. I'm here guessing for he help. means it. He means it. Yeah. Can I just sure. have a Marianne have a sanity check? Uh, was there anything that I missed while I was actually gone? <laughs> <laughs> that is important for did you guys make an agreement arrangement no uh no. The, what uh G catalina uh because you that's what you're talking about yeah yeah uh, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah i just I, yeah, because no. sean uh, divulged what happened but uh so yeah, if there no. was an agreement no, I just, no, no, I no, no. I didn't she, know. yeah no she <laughs> she wants uh, sean to advocate uh because if not it shit's gonna have to happen okay well okay. she's gonna say they will not stand Right. They will not well, be passed over again. Well, I'm here to But this is if, if, if Shiv agrees to give it away. Yeah. The thing is, this is the prince's problem, in a sense. Hmm. I don't know, I'm just fascinated that Catalina, that Catalina agrees that it's the prince's authority to confiscate and hand out the domains as he sees fit. This is going to be fun. <laughs> she wants a friend? Well, you mean I want to give it to you? Hmm. Well, the thing is... I have an old, uh, the, the gang will have an old uh, theater uh, in the outskirts of, uh, of town, of city, that we can toss in the trade. Well, given the... So you get the park, is that it? Because I have no interest in giving it to her. I get the park. She get the theater. And I owe you a big one. Well, it seems fair. You know, Catalina is not going to settle for a theater. I'm just saying to Sean. Mm. Sean knows it. She's not. Well, um, Chris, my well, dear I can Prince. Well, I can see the. The benefit for the entire city is to bring the gangles closer in. Let me remind you of what happened with the anarch attack and how they could slip through. At this point, we're trying to with two hours out of town. So I can see the point of that. But um, final say of this will, of course, decide with the Torridor. It's their area. Maybe the for former prince promised the Thank the for finally acknowledging me. Maybe the former prince uh, promised it to the blue at one point and something happened and he gave it away to someone else. I can't say. But I do know that I don't think Catalina can expect me to just seize domains left and right. Of course. But I do believe one should be able to find an amicable trade here that will interest everyone's ideas. Trust me, the last thing any of us would want is a turf war. Trust me, I have some... I'm not, we might be vampires now, but exactly this sort of business is something I've seen played out time and time again when I was mortal. It hurts. It's uh, been it's, three years, Chris. 
Who are you talking to? Jesus. Yeah, like I said, three years is still a long time. And a short time as well. You if obviously forgot the, everything about it. You don't want Catalina. It. You don't want Catalina and the Bruas on what used to be your territory. Is that the heart of the problem? You're okay with dealing with the gang girls. You want to leave the borough because you uh, out. Is that a fair assessment? I don't care for her coming and demanding anything from me, to be quite clear. If it was Sean and the gang girls, sure, I would like to have them closer, but... Well, just so owing me a favor. I'm not sure that's enough, Sean. This is clan territory. This is not Shiv giving Sean a little pretty car. It's it's different. What would Toreador want? I'll well, see that I would have to speak with my clan members. Mm. I speak with them on behalf of them. But I do not make the decisions entirely. Of course. Well, I have uh, perhaps... Uh, perhaps... Uh, something that might facilitate an easier... Easier solution to this. And then something that might, what shall we say, sweeten the pot a bit. But it would require... Sean here to be able to speak on behalf of the gangrels. If he would give... Just... If, if you... Well, wait and hear me out, shit. If, in addition to you owing Shiv a favor, if the gangrels will also readily give a boon to the prince and to the one true clan, I think I can part with some real estate area that belonged to Montgomery Masters. <laughs> I can this have is, some of it. Sorry, this is the Marianne reacting, not Chiv. <laughs> I know what you mean. Towards paying down. No. When it goes to sweeten the pots of uh, the Torador for relinquishing their hold to the park, as well as some lesser areas not too far from the theater, I believe you're talking about, which could go to the brew house. If. The Brujas would get just a tiny amount of what once belonged to Mr. Masters. The symbol of right. that would be extreme. I find it extremely funny that we are entertaining this based on Catalina basically wanting to go to war. She's been to war. This is... sure. But against us? She's a blue Depends? Boston? Mm. Why Depends are we entertaining we this? She should be punished, not be giving a reward. <laughs> this negotiation. Let's just say that. Then she should be here to talk and speak. No disrespect to you, Sean, but she should be here. But I think she's not interested in negotiating with you. I think she wants... She wants th me to say yes because I'm Sean's little pal, right? No, I think she wants... I think what she's angry is about is not... It's the fact that she feels that the gangrels would be getting something by doing a deal with you and she will be left out once again. It's the classic... Well, the simple uh, It's the classic to uh, sibling rivalry issue. Give an ice cream to the younger one, and the older one would want one as well. Ouch, Chris. Ouch. <laughs> oh, would she want to be a patty little girl? Secret she high five. <laughs> she wants to be patty. She can be received as patty. Plus, he needs to posture a bit for JJ as a witness to, to show his savvy and his ability to keep the low clowns in check. Ty, you just keep it going. Just keep it going. <laughs> I'm gonna hold on the baseball Of course, if you still want me out in the boondocks, I'll leave. I'll be in the boondocks. Why like I said, are you in the You just said that you have a theater. Because it's crap. It's in, plus, it's indoors. So I don't think he's particularly interested in the ending. That's make a garden. I don't know. That back. 
But leave the Brugas aside now. They're not interested in this. They don't want the park. No. Because then they'll have to fight the gangles for it. They just want something. They want recognition. Let them be my problem. If Sean can speak on behalf of the gangrels, that is, to agree to a sizable boon to pay for my generosity of forfeit, forfeiting my turf to both you and the Brujas. And that's enough for her. I mean, I'm just thinking, if you give her your pinky, she won't your arm, right? She'll take what she gets and be happy with it. I don't want a war. I don't want a. I want a functional city. Boundaries shift. Territories trade hands. This is nothing new. This is all this we are was a kind. And by I don't... we, I mean vampires, not the three of us. It's a business deal, pure and simple. Sure, and I understand that. I just don't like the way it's being handled. The way it's been going about. She's well. Then, no offense to the Buras, but they're not the most tactful of clans at the early moments. Plus, I do believe she still reels so some I'm loss. The statement of the year. Plus, I believe she still reels a bit from the loss of her clan might. After all, she the Buras were the ones hardest hit by the Anax, which and in, internally the prince thinks she's slightly ironic since she initially sided with them. Well, you know, play with fire, get burnt. No pity whatsoever. <laughs> so if we take her out of the equation, the deal between you and Sean, would that be amicable? We can probably find a way. Great. We can haggle exactly over which, where to draw the line on the blocks of the ma ma master's uh, Property we're talking about for you to hand over to you at a later stage. You need to talk to your clan, as you said as well. But I have a feeling that we'll be willing to trade that park for that area. I don't actually see, as far as I know, it's not the most happening Sorry. places of all, is it? I mean, it's hardly the event place. Well, I mean, it has potential. I'm guessing that is why Diana kept it. Probably, but uh, I, I mean, your clan's focus it has it been. Like shite. Well, it doesn't matter what it looks like, it matters what it can be. And the area, there is nothing wrong with that area. Marshland. You need to Not be to a gang to the constant that. music from the seventh inning stretch. But um, if that is a possible uh, solution, do you believe that? Brewhouse would be satisfied with such a solution, Sean. They get your theater, they get some of the former properties along the warehouse district from the master's estate. I think that's actually perfect. And the gangrels owes the prince and the city a boon. What is the Torador getting? That is between the Torador and the gangrels. And they get, of course, the masters, the, the block of masters to stay in the city. But like, we're not going to give them warehouses. It's not like they want. If they need something juicier, then they can have some of more of the more suburban or more urban areas. It's a lot of block. Or two. So they get a boon from the gangles if they want that, and some to and some venture property. Oh, well, not Ventru, but... Is this the... My house? property! Yes. I'm the one that's not getting anything here. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, that's you get peace. That's out of game. <laughs> that's out of game. He gets peace and a boon from the gang walls. I think he'll be quite happy with that. <laughs> so the Bruja gets the old theater and part of the warehouse district. Yeah. Okay. What is the she Torador getting? Gets the Torador gets a part of uh, inner city from the master's uh, estate. Mm -hmm. And a boon from from Sean if he's still willing to give that to her and they want it. I get one less stress, head, stress headache and a boon from the gangrels. Just uh, to be Marion speaking, uh, Shiv will go back and she will talk to her clan and she will also uh, have someone look into the offer that the prince is offering and what the potential of this land is valued to be or could be 
and Damn. she's not going to accept Isn't anything it? less. Yeah. If that's okay with her clan, because I have my rent don't, don't I don't know what Alex and all of those other ones want. So. And I, I gotta assume that uh, what she was a fairly intelligent uh, woman as well, isn't she? I mean, she's and she has knowledge. Uh, yeah, I now. think between the three of us, I think she has yeah. the upper hand. So I think she knows also <laughs> that at the current uh, moment, the park is well zoned as a re as a, re as a recreational area. So and the development would have to have a zone permit, and then you can go ahead and take a couple of guesses of who controls most local politicians <laughs> <laughs> who might block sad <laughs> re rezoning issues. It's also a war memorial. Yeah, the whole park is actually, and almost the whole park is a war memorial. It's a weird situation you three are in. It's all of a sudden, you, it's a cold light of night reality that mm. you are now speaking for the other part of your new family. That you're not bothering just for yourself anymore. And then the kindness of old friendship, it goes only so far with this. Yes, it helps mediating, but in the end of the day, you are the head figure of your clan. Also helps meeting Shiv on a better day. Yeah, yeah, but she, she, she. Apart she does, from that, yeah, blah, 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 yeah, she's like blah, one day later, one day earlier, blah, 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 this that. would not have been a problem. <laughs> well, if that concludes the matter, I feel like Spike. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yum yum yum. Excellent. Oh, uh, by the way, before you leave, can I have a one word with you in private, Shiv? Of course. And I glide her into the little side office, uh, side office uh, bit. I didn't want to speak it out loud in front of JJ. You can talk to Sh uh, Sean afterwards if you feel like it's divulging the ways to him. I think you might, your sources might be right about Mr. Vince's. I sent you the text as you saw. She's playing fairly open that she's a stoic. Camarilla supporter, but then again, any Trimia would say that. They're not the most well loved clan. In fact, they're one of the more feared clans. But it wouldn't surprise me if there are some, some, at least some form of validity to the information you got. So be careful. I don't know if you've talked to Sean about it. I will not divulge any information that you have given me onwards to him without knowing that's okay by you. But you should probably warn him as well if you feel comfortable about doing so. This is not both... a me problem. This is not a you problem. This is an us problem. Exactly. Good. So if you tell him, be, be careful as well. If she finds out what happened, if she is in any way affiliated with the Justicars, and if she even gets a whiff of what we think a dear friend did to a certain person, he might Where be is Sean problem. right now? He's yeah. just out in the... He's on his way yeah. to the car. Yeah. I'll, I'll actually pick up my phone. Excellent. Well... Sean, come back up. Are you still angry? Just come up. I'm pretty sure you're still angry. He says with a hint of mm. a smile in his voice. Come he comes back up. <laughs> so we're gathered yeah, again. For Chris Ambro, I'll come with you for Sorry, I'm no, speaking no. Norwegian now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's the this is, this is the this is the burden the prince must bear. Every well, uh, Sean is back. Boo -hoo. Yeah. Boo -hoo. Oh, I have all the power and I sit on the throne. Yeah. That kind of slowly comes into the room. Is she still angry? JJ looks. <laughs> She's been weird, Prince. Yeah. No, he's oh, back yeah. in the room. Well, why yeah. wait? Well, we well we'll back again, like we ret retreat to the to the conference room. So well, with JJ outside. I don't know why. This shouldn't have been kept from you. I actually expected that you knew, Sean. I'm sorry. You yeah, what? I'm about fairly the prince's new wizard 
That was what she wanted to be, right? Yeah. Yeah, she used the word wizard. I would have chosen Lovely. sorcerer. Probably necromancer, but yes, yes, yes. Now oh, that's the Giovanni. And some others. Never mind. Just tell her, tell him, Chris. Uh, Shiv came into possession of some rumors, some information that might or might not be true that she is some, that Mr. Vintas is some way or shape or form is associated with the Tamir Justica. And that her return or her, com her coming to Boston might be less her personal mission and more of a job situation. Right. I, the information um, I have and not, I mean, even though you expect or fear that this is true, how can we confirm it? That's going to be tough, but I think it's best to act as if it is true rather than. Right, but oh, it's definitely. Earn a side of I do not want to. And on that note, she way. is going to have a meeting with a dear sheriff. And she mentioned that he had a certain person he found suspicious and wanted to look closer at. Did you ever have that meeting with him, Shiv? I do hope it's not you who is referring to, but that might be it. Though I cannot quite understand why you'd be so hung up on you. Have I had the meeting with him? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm oh, it, it, asking. Yeah, can... it was just a very polite walkthrough of the hotel. Yeah. But as he I says, mean, I, I have reason, nothing to hide. A, a, like the flash of the girl focusing in on the mouth as she's trying to breathe, covered in blood. No, it cannot be me. I'm, um, why should it? Good. Why would no, it? No, it's like I said, I don't, I don't know. I just know that he he voiced his concerns about the why being a potential haven for... Oh, I showed him the setup, the rooms, the security. I mean... All of a sudden... He a should have been satisfied. Comes in. You're meeting... Is now. Well, I am sorry, if my uh, permissions, but it looks like I have to have this meeting now. We'll talk about this again as soon as any more information comes up. Take care. Um, Bye. <laughs> Working for the Justice Court, yeah. Maybe. On this note, actually, as you are walking out and saying that, the camera's going to pan out because you're crossing elevators and you're seeing different members of uh, the Ventral Clan. You see Savage coming first, giving you the nod. I give her a smile. As they all book. But on this note, we've got to stop the episode because we're at the finish line of this one. We've got to stop somewhere and this is where we're going to stop. You should let Except for talking. one little... Uh, the camera pans out. Oh, I hate when the camera pans out. Yes, never ending. Never good, good, never good, sky. never good. For us. <laughs> Crawls through the ground on copper to the debris. With an almost caved in horrible black hole. The thing that crept out of it, standing on the edge, shivering, holding his arms, its arms around itself. Why? What? This is wrong. Oh no, it's all wrong. And on that note, we're going to end the episode. Poor guy, he's been stuck there for weeks and years. No, I think that, that those are two separate entities. Oh my god. 
Now I need to watch the episodes back because I don't remember this. <laughs> Well, on that note, we're done. Uh, thank you so much, players, uh, for your genuine interactions. And, and I'm always amazed how you dare to uh, portray your characters in such a genuine and heartfelt and uh, unfiltered way. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate trust because it takes a lot of trust to do this. And I, I love you guys. And this is fun. And I hope you viewers uh, appreciate it and appreciate the immersion level that my freaking amazing players uh, dare to do. And please, please give them the comments, and likes, and follows. If not for me, give it for them because they have earned it. I think they might be dead hunters. That's what I I'm. I think it might be a particular yeah. one dead hunter is what I'm fearing. No, there are two. There's uh, one uh, driving. A, a... So yeah, but come on now. And and then then the other one. It's a doop, a boop, a doop, a doop. Spoiler warning. That means go watch the old Hunter episodes. Go watch uh, and watch because I drop Easter eggs all the time. Yeah. And, and if you're Christmas crazy like parrots. me, uh, you have long game. And you're not. Well, they kind of have to be to watch this. So. Yeah. yeah. Indeed, indeed. Uh, but ooh, uh, thank you so much, guys, for your comments, <laughs> likes, and follows. We do appreciate, and we do comment, and we do love it. And thanks. And on that note, stay safe and take care of one another. Bye. 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 Bye.